In this Three Steps to Sketch video, we are going to break down this method using our most basic cosine graph, y equals cosine x. So if you can really dig in and understand this method using this basic graph, which you probably know already what this one looks like, then you'll have a really good foundation that you can use to graph any basic unshifted cosine graph. So let's jump in. Okay, so we have our method outlined on the left and we have our grid on the right. So step one of our method is to find the essential information. This is really your prep work so that you know all of the pieces you're working with and can create a really nice, neat and accurate graph. So the first of our essentials are identifying A and B. So A in the case of this cosine graph is an understood one out front. It's always the coefficient in front of your cosine function. So A is one and B is your coefficient in front of X. And so in this case, it's also an understood one. All right, now that we have that, we know we can calculate the period by taking two pi and dividing by our b. So in this case, it's very simple. It's two pi divided by one. So our period is two pi. And remember, that's just the length of one horizontal cycle. All right, the final essential information you want to find will be the scale labels. And you'll do this horizontally and vertically. Horizontally, we'll take the period and we'll divide it by four because we know we're going to have four key points in our pattern. And so if we divide our period by four, the horizontal length of a cycle, we'll make sure each of these points lines up nicely with one of our horizontal tick marks. So in this case, we have two pi, we divide it by four, and you see that simplifies to pi over two. So every horizontal tick mark, we will be counting by pi over two. All right, and then for this method, we like to use A as our vertical scale. So each unit here, we will count by one. Okay, so we have all this essential information. Let's go ahead and label our axes, and then we'll be able to move on to step two. So let's start with our horizontal scale. We know we're counting by pi over two. So if it helps, count one pi over two, two pi over two, which reduces to pi, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2. And your fourth tick mark should always match your period. So the fourth label should be equivalent to your period when we use this method. Okay, and we can go ahead and label our negative side of the horizontal axis. Same values, just negative. And if you wanted to keep going, of course you could, but we'll just leave enough room here to sketch two cycles. All right, and labeling the vertical axis is even easier. We are simply counting by ones. All right. So now that we have that, we're ready to move on to step two, where we will plot our key points. So remember the pattern with a basic cosine graph that is not reflected, so we don't have a negative out front, is going to be max zero one, min zero two. All right, and that max happens at zero A. So we have our first point, our y-intercept is at zero one. So that's our max. Our first zero happens at the next tick mark horizontally. Our min will be at the next one. Zero two will be at the next. And then our pattern would repeat. So I am going to go ahead and put that point on my graph and I'll do it in a different color since technically it will be the start of the next cycle. So our pattern repeat starts here at two pi. And that's really all there is to it. So step three, we sketch and repeat. Got our pattern. We'll sketch in this cosine curve. We've got one of them. And you can repeat this for as many times as you need. So let's go ahead and do one more cycle so I like to just move four tick marks to the left of the cycle we've already drawn on the graph. So that's starting at negative two pi. We know that that will be a max. 
We'll have a zero, a min, and another zero. And we can sketch this cycle in as well. So like I said, do this as many times as you need. And this is how you can use three steps to sketch for a basic cosine graph. If you can do it with this one, then you should be able to tackle any of these unshifted cosine graphs.